Welcome to the B6 Core Practical for Light Intensity and Photosynthesis. What we're going to do today is we're going to look at how light intensity affects photosynthesis. I'm going to go through the, the apparatus that we need for that and how we use the results that we gain from that practical. Because we're using solutions, we are of course going to need eye protection, so I'm going to place these on now. We'll also need a bijou bottle, spatula, algal balls, indicator solution, a meter ruler, a cardboard light box, and also a lamp. So, First of all, we're going to start with the algal balls. These are microscopic cells which contain chloroplasts, so they can photosynthesize the same as a plant leaf cell can. They're also contained in jelly to allow them to sit in the water. Bijou bottle. We're going to put 20 of these algal balls into the bijou bottle using our spatula. So now we've got our algal balls in our bijou bottle. We're going to add the indicator. it to the top. Now this indicator will detect the amount of carbon dioxide that is present in the solution. And it will change colour depending on the amount of carbon dioxide there. It will go yellow if there is more carbon dioxide present and it will go purple if there is less carbon dioxide present. So we've now made four more Bijou bottles and we've added an indicator in the 20 algal balls. What you would have noticed is I've placed them at equal distances away from our lamp. Now the reason for this is because we're testing light intensity, we have to make sure that there's an equal distance between each BG bottle. So for us, we're using 10 centimeters. You can use whatever you want, as long as it is equal between the first and second, second and third, third and fourth, fourth and fifth. So what this means is the BG bottle at the front will be exposed to more light than the BG bottle at the back. And so we have a range of light intensities for each of the BG bottles. Now we're almost ready to start. We've got a few more things we need to do. Because we're testing for light intensity, we need to make sure we have a control to ensure that the variable we're testing is actually what's causing the effect. So first of all, we get a bijou bottle with 20 algal balls in the indicator solution, but this time we wrap it in tin foil. We then place it in line with the first BG bottle. And the tin foil is there to stop any light from getting into that BG bottle so we can make sure that any changes that occur are only happening because of light intensity. Before we finish the method, there is one more thing we need to do. We need to make sure we measure the pH levels of each of the BG bottles at the start. We use an indicator range to make sure that you can measure the correct pHs. Once you've done that, you place your cardboard box over the top, and that's to make sure there's no external light getting from anywhere, no classroom lights, no other lights. Once you've done that, you turn the lamp on, and you'll leave it for at least 60 minutes so that photosynthesis can take place. Welcome back. We've left it for 60 minutes. We're now gonna see what has changed in the bijou bottles by lifting off the cardboard box. We'll turn the lamp off, and as you can see, the colours have changed in these BG bottles. Now we can tell photosynthesis has taken place because the pH levels in these BG bottles would have changed. So, as we look closest to the lamp, we can see that the BG bottle has turned purple. Now like we spoke about earlier, if it turns purple, that means there is less carbon dioxide in there than there was at the start. And the reason for this is that all of these algal balls will be res respiring, now, as they're respiring, they are releasing carbon dioxide. The one closest to the lamp, however, is using that carbon dioxide in photosynthesis. Because it's using the carbon dioxide, the carbon dioxide level in the solution is decreased, causing it to change to purple. As we go to the one furthest away from the lamp, we can see that actually it's turned yellow. And we spoke about before that if it turns yellow, that means there is a higher concentration of carbon dioxide in the solution. So the reason being, as the algal balls are respiring, as it's further away from the lamp, photosynthesis isn't taking place as much 
So photosynthesis isn't using up the carbon dioxide that's being produced by respiration, causing the color to change. So as we can see, the closer it is to the lamp, the more light intensity there is, the higher the rate of photosynthesis. And to make sure it's light intensity that's caused these changes, we're gonna have a look at the control. Now this one has had no light in there at all. So what we should notice is that no photosynthesis has taken place. That means there should be more carbon dioxide in this solution, which means it should be more yellow. And as we can see, it is very yellow, so it shows that photosynthesis hasn't taken place in this control, meaning that the changes in these BG bottles is due to the lamp itself and light intensity. To use the results, we then have to retake the pH levels of these BG bottles, and you will do the change in pH divided by the time, which for us was 60 minutes, to give you a rate of photosynthesis, and you will then be able to put that rate of photosynthesis into a graph so you can analyze your results.